now. Homeless camps are being moved out of the metro. The Department of Transportation is focusing on areas near the highways and the interstates. And TSV 11's Ashley Godwin shows us why. It's places like this that are populated with lots of cars and lots of people like here at McCain, where RDOT is saying unsheltered people need to leave for their safety. There's never a good time to have to do this, but we're in a position where we have to take the lead. Last week, a notice was given to homeless people across central Arkansas saying because of safety concerns, they needed to vacate the area. Now RDOT is removing items and clearing the areas where the camps are. We have to go in at certain times of the year, uh, clean up the trash, mow the grass, um, and we don't want any kind of accident to happen. Some of the areas that have been cleared include the intersection of Rodney Parham and 430 University and 630 and the intersection by McCain Mall near Highway 67 in North Little Rock. How unfortunate is right before winter time we're going to do this. Aaron Redden is the founder and executive director of the van, an organization that provides outreach for the homeless. He has been alerting people around the areas of the situation, but he says there's not a lot of help for where they can go. The last count that we did showed almost 600 people sleeping outside in the metro. Uh, there's not 600 shelter beds available. RDOT says they have provided information to those affected where they can find a place to stay. If you look, there are a host of places for those who are homeless in these uh, uh, predicaments to go and get resources. It's so easy to say, get a job, get a, go to a shelter. Uh, help is that, there, you know, there's plenty of help out there, but you talk to everyone and we're all overloaded. None of us can keep up. In North Little Rock, Ashley Godwin, THV 11 News. Now, RDOT started clearing out the homeless camps today, and they say it will take a couple of weeks before they are finished. And Aaron with the van says if you are looking for ways to help, they are in need of blankets to hand out for the winter. And we're putting a link where you can reach them on teachv11.com.